Good afternoon, and welcome back to the Refreshing Point. Today I will be sharing with you information on omega-3 and 6 fatty acids, plus their ideal ratio. Various researchers have found that the ideal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids is 2 to 1. The average American has a range around 16 to 1. This is due to diets that are high in omega-6 fats from commercialized animal products and industrial oils. Fatty acids are important for all systems of the body to function normally, including your skin, respiratory system, circular system, brain, and organs. There are two fatty acids, termed essential fatty acids, that your body does not produce on its own. They are omega-3 fatty acid and omega-6 fatty acid, which are important for brain development, immune system function, and blood pressure regulation. Omega-3 fatty acid, or alpha-linolenic acid, is an essential fatty acid that plays an important role in brain function and may help you fight against cardiovascular disease. It is recommended to eat a diet in which fatty fish like salmon, herring, sardines, and tuna are consumed at least twice a week. Hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, walnuts, and green leafy vegetables Provide small chain ALA omega 3s. Flax and chia seeds contain the same type of omega 3 called ALA. However, humans are inefficient converters of ALA into the active form EPA and DHA. Blue green algae sources provide small amounts of DHA, which is much more preferable. For strict vegans, the algae is definitely the best source of omega 3s. Fish oil provides significantly more of the powerful long-chain EPA and DHA in a highly bioavailable form and is therefore the best source of these critical fatty acids. Omega-6 fatty acid or linoleic acid combined with omega-3 fatty acid produces many of the health benefits mentioned before. But the trickiest part about playing the fatty acid game is that it is best to eat them in the right amounts. You should be eating about twice as much omega-6 as omega-3, so that your omega-6 to omega-3 ratio is 2 to 1. But in today's world of fast food, frozen entrees, and high-calorie snacks, it is not uncommon for most people to actually be getting about 15 times more omega-6 than omega-3. It is suggested that eating omega-6 and omega-3 in the wrong proportions may actually void the health benefits. It can contribute to excess inflammation in the body, potentially raising the risk of all sorts of diseases. The best sources of omega-6 are seeds, nuts, and grains, and leafy green vegetables, like lettuce, broccoli, purslane, and kale, and in certain raw vegetable oils. Care should be taken to use raw, cold-pressed vegetable oils, because cooking destroys the benefits of the fatty acids. As referenced by the chart, you can see that butter, coconut oil, lard, palm oil, and olive oil are all relatively low in omega-6. It is recommended to avoid all that have a high proportion of omega-6, such as sunflower, corn, soybean, and cottonseed oils. Omega-9, or monounsaturated oleic acid, is a non-essential fatty acid produced naturally by the body whenever there is enough of either omega-3 and omega-6 essential fatty acids. However, if you do not have enough omega-3 and omega-6, then you should get omega-9 from your diet. This fatty acid plays a role in promoting heart health by supporting healthy, balanced cholesterol levels and improving immune function. Omega-9 fatty acids are found naturally in olive oil, pecan oil, and pine nut oil. Within the body, omega-3 fatty acids are converted to DHA and EPA. DHA and EPA are highly unsaturated fats that play very important roles in the vision development and brain function of infants. The lack of DHA has been associated with Alzheimer's disease, attention disorders, and other diseases. Marine algae is the best source of EPA and DHA. To increase your ratio of omega-3s, Eat plenty low-mercury fatty fish, like sockeye salmon. Swap omega-6 oils for those higher in omega-3s. 
and always check the ingredients when you buy packaged food. If needed, supplement with an omega-3 source like fish oil. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.